it seems like Sarah and Louise used to be good friends, but that really isn't terribly obvious before we see the picture at Louise's place. And that's near the end. I think it would have been good if that had been a little bit more obvious. Early on, I was kind of finding it hard to believe that Louise would have told Sarah about her mother's partying. But of course, if they used to be good friends, I think it would have been good to have a line early on. You know, Sarah saying, I don't know, why, why don't we talk like we used to something? Also, why didn't they talk like they used to? I mean, one of the major themes is that these students are all alone. These teenagers don't have anybody to lean on. If they had each other to lean on, then why did they stop? I mean, I'm not saying that girls don't suddenly become each other's worst enemy from being BFFs. I'm just saying, tell us why. I get why they had Mikkel be the one to attack Sarah, but I just did not believe it. I mean, it's that whole thing of the most sympathetic character doing something towards the character that they genuinely care about, because that makes it ironic, that gives it pathos. However, I did not believe it in this movie. It really lacked credibility. Also, part of the problem was that it was a guy being upset about gossip, and particularly the gossip itself, the content. The whole, she's totally with him, that kind of thing, as far as gossip goes, really works better when the target is a girl, because then the insinuation can be, she's a total slut. Here, it was kind of just, oh no, everybody now knows that Mikkel is in love with her. And they kind of already do. He's not very good at hiding it, and yes, I know, he doesn't like it when it's said out loud like that, and the idea that it could spread, but it didn't quite work. I also didn't really believe that he would take it out on her when Hassan kind of egged him on and said, just go ahead and kiss her. I would personally think that he'd direct his anger towards Hassan. I think it is also a little unlikely that the other girls did absolutely nothing to help. Sarah. Now the faux rape scene, while it's not entirely credible in its setup, was devastating. The way it was filmed, the way it was edited, the use of silence in that scene, this kind of numbness, it so crosses her boundaries. It is just more than she can take and, and thus almost intolerable for us. Her screams just pierce your heart. I also felt that the slap was a pretty convincing and natural way for it to escalate. I mean, she was trying to get out of their grip, and then the slap antagonizes him. However, this is also one of the examples of Louise being overly cruel. Not only does she incite that whole event, not only does she not stop it, she films it and then sends it to people. Possibly including the victim herself. I'm sorry, but some of those actions should maybe have been spread out to more characters. It is a lot to ask of an audience to sympathize with someone like that. Which is not to say that I didn't sympathize with her, because like the other three, she had it rough. I do think that the whole jealousy thing was a little bit, I don't know, poorly set up. Not as far as the filmmakers communicating it to us. But they have the thing where the boys grab Louise and try to convince Mikkel to, you know, grope her, and he's kind of reluctant. Then they go after Sarah, again tries to get Mikkel to grope her, but He's kind of reluctant, then Louise breaks that up, and Hassan says the line that we will not understand for the next 40 or 50 minutes. You are so selfish. 
yeah, that makes sense once they have the talk outside his father's bike repair shop. It does not make any sense there. Now, other than the relatively minor thing of this being excessive in setting up Mikkel as not really wanting to do these things, the problem here is that the director wanted to do too much with this. He didn't want to inject much of anything that seemed hopeful or positive about the school experience between students. But he also needed something to show status for the girls. And thus, both girls seem to kind of be enjoying the grabbing, tickling, almost groping kind of thing. I mean, I didn't see any real pain come from that other than Louise being jealous of Sarah. I mean, that's where it would really have been dramatic and ironic. If Sarah had hated that treatment, only Louise didn't find out, or she didn't believe that Sarah had hated it, and she still felt jealous about something the other person didn't even like, that would have worked far better than Mikkel being the one to attack Sarah. I mean, we only see the girls smile about it. And it also didn't seem entirely convincing that Louise would be able to break it up like that. I don't know, I think if there had just been, like, lines about how hot the girls are from the boys, and then Louise suddenly overheard them talking about Sarah, that would have worked far better, I think. If they were gonna go with the tickling, grabbing, groping thing, they really should have had Sarah react more negatively to it, because she's kind of supposed to be the quiet, not that extroverted girl, or at least it seems like it, and that really doesn't jive with her reaction to that treatment. I thought Mikkel's parents were spot on. Bjorn Henriksen does amazing as always, as the father. I thought it was spot on how his reaction to finding out that his son, you know, pretended to rape a girl was a very sort of basic one. You know, he essentially only utters a few words. You're sick. And you can just feel the fear. You can just tell he is terrified that his lenient attitude towards his son, that his spoiling of his son has literally destroyed his son, has turned his son into a psychopath. I'm not a parent myself, but I can imagine that has got to be one of the worst fears. I mean, right up there with losing your kid must be losing your kid to such undeniably immoral behavior. And I thought it worked really well with the setup with, oh, Dad, you don't have to drive me, no, but I'm gonna. And then later on, are you gonna drive your son to school? I personally thought it was really good that we didn't truly see him forgive his son. That's one thing I definitely want to praise this film for. For once a Danish film that has consequences. We are way too forgiving, way too easygoing. I mean, even in sort of serious films, too often we just let it go and say, oh, things will work out. Because, you know, that's how we are as a people. That's kind of a cultural thing. We do have a certain sense of optimism, and too often that impairs our stories. But in this one, there truly is consequence. Sarah takes her own life. Mikkel's father does not forgive him. And I found the ending, whilst abrupt, to be quite effective. You know, again with the setup and the payoff. Earlier we saw Sarah talk to him about, you know, did you put on your armor? And then at the end he does that gesture and just walks into the school because what else can he do? life goes on. It has to. He has to go back to school. 